welcome back, welcome back. It's Keisha's Life Lessons week four. Oh my gosh, how exciting. Okay, let me make you laugh real quick. <laughs> I'm laughing because I was getting ready to press record and I pressed the button and started talking and realized that it was taking pictures of me and not recording. <laughs> I'm sorry, it was hilarious. I, I pressed the button and then it said, and I was like, oh, what's going on? Yeah, it wasn't recording. All right, so anyway, welcome back. <laughs> Thank you all for joining once again for TGIM, uh, Keisha's Life Lessons. Thank God it's Monday. Yay. Remember, start strong, finish strong. That's why I decided to post this blog every Monday. And I'm basically just going to reflect back on life lessons to help guide us all through living what we call life. <laughs> um, how were you guys this week last week? Did you create your life manifesto? I would love to hear more about it. Please send it to me because I'm so excited about that. I received a couple and they were so inspiring and I just want to see more and more. Um, this week I'm going to talk about childlike ambition. But before I get into that, I just want to reflect back on last week. Last week was actually an okay week until um, Thursday when it decided to snow all day. It snowed all day, you guys. It didn't end until Friday around 1 p.m. Yeah, I thought spring was around the corner. I'm over this snow. It's annoying, for real. You know that whole, that blog when I was like, I'm living in New York, all of that, I'm over that, for real. Like, I'm ready for some sunshine and some happiness and birds chirping. I like spring. Bring it on, please. All right, that's over. So, um, actually, <laughs> sorry. Moving on from that, my little five second pity party, I'm gonna go into talking about childlike ambition. Over the past few weeks, I've been talking about things to help inspire and motivate us to get back and find our passion. You know, I talked about kicking fear in the face, talked about focusing on what your purpose is and being determined to fulfill it. I also talked about, you know, making a clear vision, writing it down, make it plain and clear so you can run with it. And we talked about creating life's manifesto. And today's lesson is all about childlike ambition. So, you know, just reflecting back, guys, on Sunday, I went for my jog. I was so happy Sunday was actually a very pretty day. It was all snow on the ground, but... It was like 56 degrees, so it was nice. So I went for my jog throughout the village, and, you know, I became in awe when seeing children ages 6, 7, 9. You know, I saw these children walking throughout the neighborhoods with picket signs. First, I was a little bit confused because I was like, what's going on that I don't know about? But... When reading the sign, the sign actually read, Don't Keep Calm, Speak Out, and Save Park Ave. And, you know, just to give you guys a little bit of history behind that, Park Ave is a historical elementary school here. And they were so passionate behind their purpose because they wanted people to know that they did not want that school to be closed. You know, there's been a lot of talk about closing the elementary school and all of these kids got together with their parents, of course. But you saw all of these children marching through streets with these picket signs to get their voice heard, to get people, more people involved so they can help save the elementary school. That was so inspiring to me. It made me reflect back to my childhood days, you know, in those days where I had that childlike ambition, where I knew that I could actually fulfill anything that I set myself out for. You know, I was eager and I, and I had that strong desire to fulfill something. And I knew without a shadow of a doubt that I could do it. So that's what I wanted to talk about for this life lesson of this week. You know, when thinking back, I remember there is one thing that I was always really good at as a child. I loved to run. Like, I would just run just to be running. You know, like I was like Forrest Gump, just go. And in elementary, we would always do these one mile runs. 
and I would always want to be the winner. And it was a lot of us. It was like the whole entire grade during during gym, like whatever, like during our gym class. And they would line us up. And then when they said go, we would run and we have to run this full mile. And, you know, um, I always wanted to be the first one finished. And I remember as soon as they would say go, I would take off and I would run really fast and really hard. And I would never look back. And when I did this, I would always be the winner for the girls. And that to me was so empowering just to think back on that because I had that childlike ambition. I had those thoughts knowing that I could do it. I could be number one. And I remember when I ran, how like it was kind of therapeutic for me because I felt things fall off in the wind as I would run fast and run really hard and when I get to the finish line and they say that I'm the winner I would go home and I would dream just a little bit more that night I would smile a little bit bigger because I knew that I could accomplish whatever task I had given myself I know it's a little deep just to be talking about running but you know if the shoe fit weird that's all I have to say whatever we need to inspire us that's what we're going to use so that inspired me and you know I just want to talk to us all about you know what is that thing that you that you had that that deep desire that passion to fulfill what's that one thing that you would do if you knew you would not fail if you knew that without a shadow of a doubt, regardless, if you just did it, you would be the best at it and you would be known for it. What's that one thing? Take some time to think about that. Reflect on that. Let it marinate. You know, go deep down inside every fiber of your body and let it overwhelm you to the point to where you want to go after it. You want to go and get yours. You know, if you've always wanted to write, write. If you've wanted to dance, dance. If you are a if you wanted to be a teacher, teach. A singer, sing. Whatever that thing is, do it. And do it now. Our days are not promised, right? But just know that it's never too late. To fulfill your purpose. It's never too late to fulfill your destiny. Just thinking about some different people on age, you know, with their ages and how they were able to accomplish their things. I just want to share some with you. Like with Mozart. He was seven when he wrote his first symphony. Did you guys know that? That's kind of inspiring, right? Fred DeLuca, who's the co-owner, co-founder of Subway. At 21, he only had $1,000 in his bank account. And he helped co-found Subway. Multimillionaire now, right? Or what about George Foreman? When he decided to get back in the ring at age 45 to regain the championship title, heavyweight championship title. Or there's Grandma Moses at 78, where she started painting. And she painted well throughout her 90s. And she became world known in the one woman painting show. That is amazing. To me, that shows that there is no age limit. No age limit to fulfill your dreams. No age limit to fulfill that desire, that passion that's been burning inside of you. You're never too old. You can go back to school to become that teacher you want to be. It's okay, you're never too old. It's just about going after it and doing it. I want you guys to take a moment this week and to allow the youthfulness to like just overflow you. Think back to those childlike ambitions that you had about wanting to be an astronaut or, you know, a designer, whatever that thing was. Think back to that, to be an actress, you know, whatever those things were and let it fill you again for what you know your purpose is now. So you can stir up that childlike ambition and just go after it. You can do it. So just to recap, this week's life lesson is all about stirring up your childlike ambition. 
and knowing that there is no age limit to fulfilling your, your purpose and your desires and your dreams. Let's stir it back up and get ready and charged to go after what you know is yours. No more waiting around, guys. No more. You've kicked fear in the face, right? You know what your purpose is. You know how to focus on what your purpose is. And you know how to be determined to go get it. You've wrote that vision down. You made it plain and clear. I hope. If you haven't, let's go back and do it. And you've created your life manifesto. So let's get charged to go after that thing. Stir up your childlike ambition. And become who you are destined to become. Please share with me that one thing that has been pulling and tugging on you that you know that you're supposed to be doing and you're still procrastinating on, but I'm going to be here to help hold you accountable to get to that next level because the world is going to be much better when you actually complete that thing. We're waiting for you. We are waiting for you to share your gifts and talents. Do you know how talented you are? Do you know how amazing you are? Let's go and get it, okay? So be sure to text me, tweet me, Facebook me, share with me that childlike ambition, that thing, what you're gonna do, how you're gonna stir up your childlike ambition and go after that one thing. Share with me what your passion is so I can help motivate and inspire you to continue to go after it. You're gonna come through those little speed bumps. It's called life, but you will be the winner in the end. That's a guarantee. So that's my life lessons this week. Sorry, I don't have a little song for you guys. I don't have a little quote. My quote this week is gonna be just plain and simple. Do what you are destined to do. If you are right or right, if you're a teacher, teach. You're a designer, design. Just do it and do it now. That's what it is. Do it and do it now. <laughs> I hope you've had a wonderful time listening to my blog all about childlike ambition. And I wish you the very best, not only for today, but every day. Stir up those dreams, go after yours, and have not just a wonderful day today, but have a fabulous week. Share with me what you're going to take that childlike ambition about and go after because I know there's something. <laughs> I wish you all the very best. Have a wonderful week, and I'll talk to you next Monday. Bye.